So today we have Rexy from Jurassic Park taking on a juvenile skull crawler from the MonsterVerse. Who wins? Let's find out. So, she was a massive Tyrannosaurus Rex and was planned to be John Hammond's main attraction to the to his first theme park. Being a T-Rex, she is massive, standing uh, between 18 and 20 feet tall, over 40 feet long, and weighing 5 to 6 tons, making her the biggest one in the entire movie franchise. She's strong enough to bust through a large tree trunk easily, easily push and tip over cars, casually throw a raptor hard enough to destroy a T-Rex skeleton, pick up the bigger Irex by the neck and throw her to the ground, and to hold back a helicopter. She also has the most powerful bite force of any land animal ever, equipped with razor sharp teeth. She's tough enough to easily shake off attacks from two raptors simultaneously, uh, take, uh, take massive beating from the Irex, and being shoved head first to a building by the Irex as well, and yet she was able just to get back up, shake it off, and continue on fighting. Despite her size, she's very fast, being able to keep pace with a speeding jeep, maxing out at 30 to 35 miles per hour. She's an experienced fighter, having little trouble killing two raptors simultaneously, killing a full-grown triceratops, holding her own against the Irex, and easily taking down Carnotauruses. And finally, she's proven to be quite stealthy despite her size, being able to sneak up on Gallimimus and raptors in the first Jurassic Park movie, and a Carnotaurus as well. But in the other corner, skull crawlers. Known as the devils of Skull Island, they are two-legged reptilian and subterranean massive animals that are always in a constant state of starvation. And despite using a juvenile skull crawler, they're still massive, standing 15 to 20 feet tall, uh, over 40 feet long, and weighing 5 to 10 tons. It's strong enough to easily bust through a giant triceratops skull, easily send people back dozens of feet, hurt the much bigger Kong, although the damage to Kong was minimal at best, and to overpower and kill a Skur Buffalo, which is about the same size. It's durable enough to the point it's bulletproof, being set on fire only seemed to piss it off, but still it hits from Kong, and it took a massive explosion uh, to kill one. But speed and agility is where these guys thrive, being able to move and maneuver all around at mind-blowing speeds. They have a large mouth full of razor-sharp teeth and a prehensile tongue. Their tongue can be shot out of its mouth like an iguana's to quickly snatch and eat small prey, or for gripping large prey in combat. It has a long and heavy muscle tail used to either hit opponents or to wrap around them and constrict them or to throw them. And finally, it has powerful legs and claws on its feet as well. So, which one of these monsters are stronger? Well, Rexy has easily moved and flipped over cars, easily busted through a giant tree trunk and an entire Spinosaurus skeleton, overpowered a full-grown Triceratops and Carnotaurus, easily threw a Raptor with enough force to destroy a T-Rex skeleton, and to drive the bigger Irex uh, through a building and then lift her up by the throat and slam her down to the ground with enough force to crack the pavement. She also temporarily held back in hel a helicopter and only failed because she bit through the ladder. But the skull crawler was able to effortlessly send people absolutely flying high into the air, either with its tongue or its tail, easily bust through a giant triceratops skull, and to overpower and kill similar sized titans like the Scar Buffalo. I'd say Rexy is stronger because she has more feats. But it's not a big advantage as they're similar in size and can probably replicate each other's feats. Uh, but what about durability? Well, Rexy's hide is so tough to the point Claire had to really jab a needle with noticeable effort just to pierce it, uh, just to pierce through it, which could imply that she's bulletproof like the Irix, but that hasn't been proven. She also withstood deep gashes from raptors that left scars and a massive beating from the Irex, even being rammed headfirst into a building and just got up and shook it off and walked away just fine. But despite not being nearly as big as the Alpha, the juvenile skull crawlers have incredible durability and pain resilience. Firstly, they are bulletproof, even to turret fire, being set on fire only pissed it off 
and they took attacks from Kong and didn't immediately die. And honestly, it seems like these things don't even feel pain. Uh, but without a doubt, the Skullcrawler is definitely faster and more agile. Don't get me wrong, Rexy is surprisingly fast, being able to keep pace with a speeding Jeep, maxing out at 30 to 35 miles per hour, but the Skullcrawler can easily replicate this feat and do it for a much longer time, as it also seems that these things don't tire at all. It also just has more agility and mobility, being able to wrap all around its prey, like it's facing a larger prey, with ease. Uh, <clears throat> But later on that though, uh, but Rexy is definitely the more experienced fighter. She was the dominant and unrivaled apex predator on Isla Nublar from 1991 to 2002 and then again from 2015 to 2018. And she has nearly 30 years of hunting and fighting experience. She easily killed two raptors simultaneously, killed a full grown triceratops, easily overpowered and killed counter Tauruses, and held her own with the bigger, smarter Irex. Granted, she would have died if it wasn't for Blue, but it's still impressive considering all the big dinosaurs that the Irex killed on her rampage during the first Jurassic World movie. She can also be very stealthy and move very quietly if she wants to, despite her massive size, seeing that she snuck up on raptors and gallimimuses in Jurassic Park 1, Acarnotaurus in Fallen Kingdom, and Mills at the end of Fallen Kingdom, and in each instance, no one heard or seen her coming. But back to how the skull crawlers fight. You see, they're like hyenas in the fact that they start eating their prey before it's dead because they're always starving. And their fighting style really focuses on their bull, on bull rushing their enemy, knocking them over, and then start feasting immediately. And in Rexy's 30 years of experience, she's never gone up against anything that fights like that. And if that for some reason doesn't work, the entire body of a skull crawler is a weapon, from its mouth to its powerful legs and claws, to its prehensile tongue and extremely long tail. While Rexy normally just uses her size and bite, and maybe her head while in a fight. So, if the bull rush doesn't work, the Skullcrawler could simply strangle Rexy with her tongue and tail while eating her. Uh, there's also the fact that Rexy is nearly 30 years old, which was about the lifespan of a normal T-Rex, meaning she isn't as young as she used to be anymore, and well out of her prime. Uh, and if the Alpha Skullcrawler can throw Kong with its tail, I'm sure a Juvenile Skullcrawler can do the same to Rexy. Rexy is mighty, but I don't see her overcoming the persistence, savagery, and versatility of a Skullcrawler. Rexy fights hard, but ultimately loses. The Juvenile Skullcrawler wins. Like and subscribe if you did enjoy, leave a comment of what you think, and hit the notification bell to be notified of all my future videos. Please, go do it. Go do it right the freak now. <laughs> Anyways, hope you have a great day and all that great stuff. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.